Okay, so I'm going to be doing a test here of this system. What I want to talk about today is PEMDAS, otherwise known as the order of operations. In other words, you've heard of things called the rules of the road. Well, these are the rules of the road for mathematics. Now, I'm here to get rid of something that I really hate. And in elementary school, I have it because I get evidence I collect it from my students. And they use this thing called, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And they remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And if I ask them what is the P, they're going to say is parentheses. If I ask them about the E, they're going to say is this little number up here. If I ask them about the M, they're going to say multiplication. D is division. A is addition and S is subtraction. <clears throat> but the problem is, <clears throat> is that this, written just like that, does not give you the proper order of operations. When I was going to school, which I'm telling you some years and everything else, to say 12 years of school, so sometime between 1954 when I was born and 1968, that's when I was in high school, we used to have something called the orders of operations. I actually learned it probably in the fourth grade, but this is what that is. Now, I was told that, hey, first thing what you're going to do is do anything in grouping symbols. And grouping symbols, they told me, were parentheses. It could be these little curly wiggies. Curly wiggies. It could be brackets. It can actually be a, a fraction bar because you group things, like group things on the top and group things on the bottom. Then they told me to do anything that had a power. So a power, a power is dealing with exponentials. So it meant anything that did like that, that's an exponent, you know. It could have been something like this. That is an exponent, actually, but we're not talking about exponent, it's actually power. So anything that had this up here, which even includes those things. So that's a little bit more than just this little simple little number up there. The next thing when you come to multiplication and division, that's important. And they understood how to multiply and divide. But the problem was, is that what you need to do is that you need to do multiplication or division. I'm saying in multiplication or division, M or D. But you also need to make sure you go left to right. And then for number four, it's the same thing. Because they have the A and the S and the A became for S, they would add before they subtract. No, it's a or the S. In other words, addition or subtraction. And again, we need to go left to right. Now, why is this important? The reason we have the orders of operations is almost like a lot of things. You got rules of the road. That means when I'm driving my car, I'm here in the United States, I need to make sure I stay on this one side of the road. You know, we got these dashed lines. In America, I need to be driving on this side when I'm going to traffic. And likewise, traffic goes this way. That's the rules of the road. Same thing. If I'm up here driving, it might, here in the United States, those rules are virtually the same. When I go to Nevada, or if I go up to Oregon, if I go to Montana, if I go down to Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, North Carolina, South Carolina, they got those same rules. Why? That's important. So, because otherwise, if you would think, now when I went to Japan, when I was in the Marine Corps, I was in the USMC, when I was in the Marine Corps, and that was really going really from like 1976 to 1996, and I was in Japan. Okay, I was in Japan, and it depends on when you were in Japan. But see, in 1984, before 1984, there was sometimes, and it actually happened a lot earlier than that. I'm not really sure, 
But I know in 1984, these were the rules of the road. Yeah, if you were back there in 1948, <laughs> 1965, oh, wait a minute, let me go ahead and correct myself on that. So, I just realized, let, let, let me get my, I'm up and remembering, this is an old man. So, let's kind of go back over this, okay? So, in 1945, when we ended the World War and the war in Japan and the war in Pacific, when we took over, okay, we took over everything. So guess what? We, uh, we gave them our rules. That said that you had to drive on this side of the street and this side of the street because we established the rules. And this is like at a place called Okinawa. Okay. But if you went up to Japan... Late mainland Japan, you find out on that road, guess what? It's the opposite way. <laughs> if you wanted to go this way on the street and then it's this way, just the opposite. So you could be in mainland Japan driving on one side and go down to Okinawa is different. Then finally the United States decided, okay, we're going to change this. And what they did was gave control back over to Okinawa to the Japanese people. And they, in turn, meant that, guess what? You had to drive the same. The rules of the road is important. Orders of operation is the rules of the road for doing mathematics. That means if, and the reason this is important, is because if I was doing a calculation, see, math is used to solve a lot of scientific uh, problems and everything else to test them. We test them using mathematics. That way we ain't got to kill nobody if we don't want to. Make sense? So, but the thing is, the beauty about the orders of operation, if I do a math problem here and somebody does it in, over in France or Italy, Russia, I don't care where they're doing it, these are the rules of the roads, we're going to get the same answer. Unlike, that's what it was supposed to do. So in the very beginning, when you're learning math, you should have been taught the orders of operation this way. If you were taught this way, this is really by someone who didn't like math. They were trying to come up with a shortcut. And the problem is, in 18 years of teaching high school math, all of the students that I know were learning this. And when we came and gave them a diagnostics test to see if they knew math, guess what happened? They got it wrong because they did multiplication before division, addition before subtraction. They didn't look at this. They only saw brackets. And guess what? They were confused. So, math is easy. As long as you follow the rules. This is Dr. Smith. It's been fun. I love math. See y'all on the other side of my next video. See ya.